So guys, in this video, I'm giving a few opinions. I spoke about this in our earlier video, but I'm going to do so again here in this short one to explain things in a bit more detail. Again, I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible, but I'm trying to, I'm going to try and fit in as much information as possible. This is regarding this short interest figure that we have been seeing for AMC in the past two or three days. So I'm going to get into the video, but before we do, I just need to disclose that this is all just alleged, it's not a guaranteed fact, it's all just alleged, it's other people's opinions combined with my opinion, and again, it's not guaranteed to be fact. Furthermore, you guys will know by now, but I am not a financial advisor. If you want financial advice, get a financial advisor, or if you don't already have one, you know, uh, speak, to, or if you do already have one rather, speak to the one that you do have. But yes, what I'm talking about in this video is the changes in short interest. Now, this one is coming from yesterday. It's on Ortex on Twitter. Now, Twitter Ortex reported that a short interest uh, change was minus 14.81% yesterday. So basically, the short, the, the short interest decreased by almost 15% yesterday. Now, I know this has some people panicking, and it probably will continue to do so, that the shorts are covering. Now, this absolutely could be the case, and there are two different scenarios, two different ways to look at this, uh, depending on what you believe. So the first way is that the shorts are actually covering. Fair enough, they were going to cover at some point, and it definitely could equate to the run-up that we have seen most recently. But basically, if the shorts are covering, we've seen shares returned of about 19.67 million, we've seen shares borrowed of 3.27 million, and if we look at the wider picture, this is not a large amount. So for the people who think that the majority of shorts have covered, even if these shorts have covered, it is not the majority. I do think that is kind of a big deal when looking at the whole scenario. Now, that is only one approach, it's only one belief, because there is definitely another belief when it comes to this scenario. Now, this tweet from Christian Andrews, I believe it is, uh, speaks about a certain company, which I'm not going to get into the details of. Uh, yeah, but it says that this certain entity, and again, it may be this company, it may be others, this is all just alleged, and it may not even be the case at all. But what this person does mention, I do find it interesting, is that they believe that they need to be aware of this. So it's possible that certain companies will try to stop the squeeze by bringing the appearance of fake covering. So the whole idea is to bring the short interest down, like what we have been seeing, and they're going to be using synthetic long shares by the use of writing calls with an option with options loophole. And obviously this has happened to GME, and this person lists the evidence below. So I do find that very interesting, and, I th and again, it definitely could be the case as well. And we have spoken about this before on this channel, I know that many other people have spoken about it. It's been a theory for a very long time that a fake squeeze could have been coming with AMC. I believe this is what we could have possibly seen up here. Now let me explain what I mean by that. So like I mentioned, some people believe that AMC was going to have a fake squeeze as a last ditch attempt to get the longs to sell. And it does kind of make sense, you know, if this one really is going to run up to a price point of $1,000 and beyond, as some people do claim it will, why would the shorts not try and deceive us uh, into selling as early as possible? So the theory is that they ran the price up to like $60 or even perhaps higher than that to get people to want to sell. But the funny thing is, is for me at least, and I can only speak for myself, this run-up made me want to hold my shares even longer because it just showed how potentially powerful this one could be when it got going. So I don't think that this one really worked, but the whole intention was to bring the price up, but then bring the price down to make it appear that the squeeze has happened. Now again, this is just a theory, but if it is the case, it could seem you know something that is also possible. Because when we look a bit closer, you guys already know that we saw a big increase in price over two days up here, and then we saw a bit of a decrease, you know, even into today as well. So obviously, overall, we have seen the shorts try and keep the share price of AMC down, but even with what we are seeing with this power of the investors, they can't even do so. So today, they tried their best to keep it down. The share price moved down by those seven dollars, but fortunately, we did still end the day in the green even if it was only by a very very small amount so the message that i'm trying to say guys is nobody knows for sure what is going on with amc the, the situation is kind of unprecedented and everybody is kind of just guessing but for me at least the data does speak for itself if the shorts have covered they haven't covered a large amount and again if synthetic shares are there are out there or if fake shares are out there they could have a lot more to cover than what we already think and if they haven't covered if they are using fake uh, you know covering well, you know, <laughs> on them, because for me, at least they have made enough stupid mistakes. I, I just don't know what they're thinking at this point, but there you go. That is the shorts, and they are apparently professionals at this. 
But I just find it interesting to see what they're doing. Thank you for watching. Again, this was all just opinion and not guaranteed fact, and I am not a financial advisor. See you soon. Goodbye.